Joe, you tweeted something earlier today in reference to you thought that this would be sooner, but Lance Leopold at Kansas gets a um, contract extension with or to stay with Kansas. Actually, not years, but just money, the way that it looks like here. Uh, but Lance Leopold looks like he's going to get a little bit more money to stay at Kansas, maybe a little bit more buyout. Who knows? Yeah, I think the biggest thing here with Lance Leipold is he's constantly been brought up in a lot of these head coaching openings because of the rapid turnaround for a program that is historically impossible to win at. I think the biggest thing is that I believe the $300 million investment that's going into the facilities and the stadium, and then now to invest into your coach. He is now going to be, as soon as Venables is officially out of the SEC or out of the Big 12 and going to the SEC, he's going to be the second highest paid coach in the conference behind, I believe Gundy is the number one guy. Leipold deserves all this. I've seen some people be like, Oh, I I'd love to get a pay raise to go under 500. Do, do people realize how goddamn hard it is to win at Kansas? Do, do people realize that this is an impossible place to win at? There is a limited buy-in from the fan base. There's a limited buy-in from the on-campus students. I have played a football game there. It is a weird, weird, just place to play a football game because they really don't give a shit. He deserves all this. And I, I wouldn't be shocked if he doesn't end up sticking around for the long term. I'm going to say something and people are going to laugh. Kansas just donated or is putting forth $134 million in stadium renovations, new uh, 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 money that is coming in in reference to their athletic department or athletic programs in reference to football uh, singularly, okay? I don't know if singularly is a word, but in, in single. Singu they, singularly. Singularly. Um, they have given Lance Leopold more than they've given other coaches for this sport, uh, I which I do think is a little bit interesting. I – don't know, Joe, if he does not continue to build this, all right, and continue to to move on and, and put them where they are. Because, look, they're in the Big 12 now. They don't have to play any of the big boys. Joe, we're going to start talking about them as a potential contender, a potential sleeper. We, we, we might have to because, again, Joe, again, they win their conference. They have an automatic bid. And I am not a 1,000% sure that Lance Leopold – with the right set of circumstances, can out coach a lot of these dudes in the Big 12? I think there's a really, really realistic world that looking at their schedule, it, it is crazy how easy the Big 12 has gotten. That's what I'm saying. Like people mm -hmm. thought I was crazy earlier in the week for bringing this up. Kansas could win it or get an automatic qualifier. Well, this is why I was going to bat with you last week when we were talking about the Big 12 putting a two-loss team in and them deserving a bye. I don't think that's going to happen. I really don't. I think that Kansas, for example, no, there's Joe, one losable game. But no, hold on. Joe, they get a bye. The people I know, I know, I know, I know. That's not what I'm bringing up. I'm just, All right, the I'm people just saying. The people get a bye. I'm just like, I, people But I am – my reason for bringing that up is is because I think that the conference has become easier, so the best teams are going to have an easy path to having one loss and being a top six team. I, I'm I agree with you, man. I think the more that we investigate this, Kansas is one losable game in my eyes, and that's Kansas, Kansas State. State. That's it. I know because look, they got Linwood. Who, no one knows who that is. I okay. didn't even know that they could schedule Lindenwood, by the way. I think that's a Division II team. <laughs> okay. Well, they're playing a Division II team, Illinois. Joe, I'm just going to be honest. I know that game's in Champaign. I don't know if they don't go up there and win it. They got UNLV, the Fighting Barry Odoms. I think that they can win that. Joe, maybe West Virginia. Okay, Coach Brown, who I thought would be on this list again, actually had a decent year last year at West Virginia. But, Joe, they can win every other game on their schedule here. I, I, I mean, every single one of them. So that's why I'm saying you give them this extension and more money. <laughs> Are we in a world where Kansas can make the playoffs? To just throw in a side tangent on Lindenwood, recently moved up to FCS. 
that game might be a hundred points to nothing. I'm just putting that up there, putting out there. Recent Division Two team that just moved up. I've never seen a Power Five team schedule a game like this. That is goddamn hilarious. But I a thousand percent agree with you, Blake. I a thousand percent agree with you. I think that Lance Leipold has done a really good job of developing talent. And here's another really big thing. They're losing a couple players. Austin Booker, really talented edge player. He's he's gone. Uh, Dominic Puny, their best offensive lineman. He's going to the NFL. There are three football players that I think are going to be the best in their conference. And I think two are going to be some of the best players in the 2025 NFL draft. Cornerback Kobe Bryant. Yes, his name is Kobe Bryant. Running back Devin Neal is going to be one of the best running backs in the country. Unbelievably talented running back, and he fits perfectly on this roster. I know that they lost their offensive coordinator, but they're going to put up a ton of points. And then Jalen Daniels, man. Jaden Daniels light. I I mean, if he can stay healthy. He he is an unbelievable player. He literally is. I think it's funny that his name is Jalen Daniels. He's Jaden Daniels light. He is the Walmart version of of the big 12 version of Jaden Daniels won't go in the first round, <laughs> but he runs like hell and he is perfect for this, you know, triple option run and yes. shoot op- offense that they run. He's got to stay. He's got to stay healthy. Remember when he rolled up to big, Ten, uh, big 12 championship day or, or, or not big 12 championship days, big 12 yeah. uh, media days with the, the chain. Remember the that? Apple watch chain. The Apple Watch chain, and then remember the year before it was a it was a chain that had like the uh, what do you call it? Like it had like uh, it's like a rectangle, look like a, a rect. Uh, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm looking but it had up. lighting on the chain where you could like customize it with an app or something. It's really weird. Well, he had the it was the Apple Watch where he hung. Is that what you're talking about? Where it was like the little. Apple oh, Watch that he like hung, big, and it had like the red letters. Maybe there was a maybe the other one. I don't. I don't see a, a picture okay, of the other wrong. one. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. Well, Kansas. Here we go. Bet online remains your top spot for all of your live betting action and contests. NFL, college football, UFC, NHL are all in full swing. Bet online is your number one source for wagering news, odds, trends, and predictions with both desktop and mobile access at any time. Head to Bet Online today and use promo code Believe. That's B L E A V for fifty percent off your first deposit. That is a fifty percent welcome bonus. Bet online, where the game starts. <laughs> 